This is our couch and it is so comfortable. We have five inches of high density foam on the bottom, three inches on the back, and we actually angled the back so that they were really comfortable to sit on because the sprinter walls kind of curve in like this. And so it'd be actually really uncomfortable to have a flat back up against this wall because you'd be getting pushed forward by your couch cushion and have no lumbar support. Um, I made these cushions myself. I bought the foam pieces in really large rectangles on Amazon, and then I cut them with a bread knife down to size. Um, and then I also got these covers from Amazon as well. They were kind of one size fits most covers. And what I did was we took the back here and we put a backing plate on here and then threaded in, we made these uh, grommet holes, Austin put these grommets in here, and then threaded in some um, of this cord and then tightened it up so that it pulled it tighter and really made it a pretty decent fit. Um, and we also used this cord and then this child lock right here on the wall to keep the, um, we like lock this to the wall like this, to keep this back cushion from flying off across because it would fall over and fly across the kitchen when we were driving and um, we wanted to secure it so that didn't happen anymore. Now we have two cushions here. We have um, this like kind of larger back cushion and the smaller back cushion. We thought we would use this cushion, you know, over on this side by the door when the door was closed. And typically we really just don't move it at all. And we use this like a cheese lounge area instead. So we can kind of, you know, relax this way, which is super comfortable. Um, and it also serves when we take this cushion off or put this cushion down at the foot as a guest bed. So we had our six foot four friend actually sleep on this bed with this smaller cushion on top of a little plastic tote at the foot there. Um, and he tested it out, it worked great as a guest bed. So this is our living room area. Click here to watch the full van tour. We're also uploading our van build series showing how we built out this van for just $8,000. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when a new video drops.